Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa and this is your New Time Wrap. The United Nations says the detention of former Philippine President Gloria Arroyo violates international law. The UN also recommends Arroyo be given, quote, an enforceable right to compensation for being deprived of her liberty. International lawyer Amal Clooney, who represents Arroyo, filed the complaint in February. Arroyo's camp requested the UN to urge the Philippine government to release her. Arroyo's under hospital arrest for plunder charges for alleged misuse of 366 million pesos when she was president. She's treated for a spinal defect. Administration Standard Bearer Mar Rojas praises MMDA Chair Francis Tolentino for backing out of the Liberal Party Senate slate. Rojas says Tolentino put the country before self and shows, in his words, he is a true believer in the Ang Matuwid. This is after Tolentino was linked to a lewd dance show at an LP event. Tolentino denies he hired the girls and apologizes for not stopping the performance. Former United Nations top official John Ash faces bribery charges. Documents show Ash accepted a total of $1.3 million in bribes from Chinese businessmen. He allegedly received 500,000 U.S. dollars to build a U.N. conference in Macau and $800,000 to advance the businessmen's interests in the U.N. The bribery allegedly happened between 2011 and 2014. Ash was elected president of the U.N. General Assembly in 2013. That's your Noontime Wrap. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again at 6 p.m. for the day's headlines.